in the previous lecture you learned about some basic definitions related to discrete probability distributions like expectation variance moment generating function etc so today we begin with the distributions first distribution is geometric distribution so what is geometric distribution the important thing is the conditions under which such a distribution is applicable so let's read it suppose a random experiment consists of a series of independent trials to obtain success where each trial results into two outcomes namely success and failure which have constant probabilities p and 1 minus p also denoted by tau respectively in each trial the x denotes the number of trials to get the first success so what are the conditions and what is the definition of x you need to notice the conditions first series of independent trials each trial results into two outcomes success and failure with constant probabilities p and q respectively x denotes the number of trials to get the first success x denotes the number of trials to get the first success so how to get the pmf of this random variable x what are possible values of x think about that it is possible that you get success in the first attempt itself second attempt third attempt and so on what is probability for each value of x you can also write it by p x equal to x okay so what is the probability of getting success in the first attempt itself p second attempt means failure in the first attempt 1 minus p second attempt success then failure failure success i can write it success success failure no failure success failure failure success and so on what is probability of this 1 minus p into 1 minus p into p so 1 minus p whole square into p so if we go this way we get the compact formula for fx also denoted by gx which g stands for geometric distribution you may also use the notation fx it doesn't matter okay x is the random variable p is the parameter here so this notation is also used so what is it in general for any value x q power x minus 1 into p or you can write 1 minus p power x minus 1 into p where x goes from 1 to and so on okay you can generalize this so after generalization you get this formula for any value of x so this distribution is called geometric distribution why the name geometric if you see the successive probabilities p q p q square p these are in gp isn't it this is a geometric progression with common ratio q so this is geometric distribution because the probabilities appear in a gp next how to find the moment generating function go by definition recall the definition of moment generating function expectation of e power t x 
and how to solve expectation multiply e power tx by fx what is fx in your case q power x minus 1 into p in this case x goes from 1 to infinity okay so if you simplify it further you can write it p over q outside because the summation runs over x so p over q i am writing outside x goes from 1 to infinity the remaining thing i can write in the form q e power t whole power x it is infinite gp you can write the sum q e power t over 1 minus q e power t recall that formula a over 1 minus r sum for infinite gp so that's how you get this p e power t over 1 minus q e power t this condition is imposed to keep it positive okay similarly by definition you can prove expectation x is 1 over p expectation of x square is 1 plus q over p square variance x you recall variance x the definition of variance of x e x square minus e x whole square the simplified formula for variance of x e x is available e x square is available you can use this here and simplify to get variance of x that is q over p square okay remember that expectation and variance can be obtained by definition directly and using moment generating function also so how to get expectation x using moment generating function differentiate the moment generating function one time with respect to t and then put t equal to 0 hope you recall that first derivative of the moment generating function with respect to t at t equal to 0 gives ex second derivative at t equal to 0 gives ex square so that way also you can get ex ex square and variance x direct definition how to get expectation summation x fx in this case x goes from 1 to infinity so you have to manage this summation to get 1 over p where fx is given here okay so there are two ways of getting expectation and variance one from moment generating function other directly using the definition of expectation example of geometric distribution if a coin is tossed again and again till head appears so if x denotes the number of tosses in this experiment then x is a geometric random variable with pmf given by this why why is such a pmf in this case p is 1 by 2 and q is also 1 by 2 so if you use the formula of geometric distribution you get it okay 1 over 2 power x so this is perfectly an example of geometric distribution next for a certain manufacturing process it is known that on the average 1 in 100 items is defective what is the probability that fifth item inspected is the first defective item found so what is p here one in every hundred items is defective p is one over hundred point zero one what is the probability that fifth item inspected is the first defective item found so first success is finding a defective item so when x is five and p is point zero one what is the probability for x equal to five use the formula for geometric distribution so that means p into q power 4 
will get 0 0.0096. Next example, at a busy time, a telephone exchange is very near, uh, is very near capacity, so callers have difficulty placing their calls. It may be of interest to know the number of attempts necessary in order to make a connection. Suppose that we let p equal to 0 0.05 be the probability of a connection during a busy time. What is the probability of making a successful call in the fifth attempt? p is clearly given here. Success is needed in the fifth attempt. So p is 0 0.05, x is 5. Probability you can find using again plasmatic distribution. Okay. So answer is 0 0.041 in this case. Verify it. In the geometric distribution, we are looking for first success. In negative binomial distribution, we look for the kth success. Kth success. See the statement here. If x is the number of trials to obtain the kth success, it means it is a more general distribution than the geometric distribution. Then x is called a binomial random variable with values x equal to k, k plus 1, k plus 2, etc. We need kth success. That means we need at least k trials to get the kth success. That's why x starts from k. So what is PMF in this case? Negative binomial PMF, x is the random variable, k and p are parameters. x minus 1, c k minus 1. p power k, 1 minus p whole power x minus k. Why is such a formula? Think over it. Why such a formula? See, in the xth attempt, kth success is achieved. It means in the previous x minus 1 attempts, k minus success, k minus 1 successes are coming. Right? In the xth attempt, we have the kth success. Remaining k minus 1 successes are coming from the previous x minus 1 trials. So in x minus k trials we have failures, total k successes, x minus k failures and in how many ways k minus 1 successes can be obtained from x minus 1 trials x minus 1 c k minus 1 that's why this formula okay so this is the pmf of negative binomial distribution let's see a problem on this in a national basketball association championship series the team that wins four games out of seven is the winner suppose that teams a and b face each other in the championship games and that team A has probability 0 0.55 of winning a game over the team B. What is the probability that team A will win the series in 6 games? First part. The team A wins the series in 6 games. It means Success is needed in the sixth attempt. And how many successes are needed? Four successes. So, four success because to win the championship out of seven games, the team has to win four games. So, four success is needed in the sixth attempt. It is clearly the case of negative binomial distribution. P is 0 0.55. 
what is k here x is 6 k is 4 p is 0.55 so using negative binary distribution you can do the calculations for this property okay see the second part what is the probability that the that team a will win the series will win the series it is possible that a team a wins the first four games maybe it wins the series in the fifth game maybe in the sixth game so these three possibilities are there this time you have to calculate all these three probabilities and add okay like this the team a can win the championship series in fourth or fifth or sixth or the, oh, okay there are seven games so x equal to seven is also possible in the seventh game okay so you have to add all these properties to get the answer in this case right so this negative binary distribution is a is more general than the geometric distribution in geometric distribution you need success in the first attempt but in geometric dist uh, in negative binomial it could be the, it is the kth attempt means the kth success is needed so at least k trials are required there next distribution is binomial distribution i think you are familiar with it Let's first see the conditions for this distribution. Suppose a random experiment consisting of a finite number n of independent trials is performed. Suppose a random experiment consisting of a finite number n of independent trials is performed. In the geometric distribution, you had the series of independent trials, but here the number of trials is finite, that is given as n. Each trial results into two outcomes, namely success and failure, which have constant properties p and 1 minus p respectively in each trial. If x denotes the number of successes in the n, in the n trials, see the definition of x, it is important. x denotes the number of successes in the n trials. In uh, geometric distribution, what was x? Number of trials to get the first success. Here x is the number of successes in the n trials. So naturally x can take which values? 0, 1, 2 and so on up to n. Why it starts from 0? Because it is possible that in n trials there is no success. There could be one success, two successes, all successes n. That's why x takes these values. So what are the probabilities for different values of x? These are given in this formula. Why such a formula? What are different values of x? Look at these. 0, 1, 2, 3 and up to n. Up to n. All these possible values are here. What is the probability for x equal to 0? 0 means no success, all failures, so 1 minus p whole power n. x equal to 1 means 1 success, remaining failures, 1 minus p whole power n minus 1 into probability of 1 success p. But this can happen in how many ways? nc one ways so likewise you can go further in general this is the formula in case of binomial distribution okay these are successive terms in the binomial expansion of this thing treated it Treat it as one term and it has the second term. 
This is the general term in the binomial expansion of this one. That's why it is binomial distribution. The probabilities are distributed like the terms in the expansion of this binomial expansion. That's why binomial distribution. You can prove that moment generating function of binomial distribution is Q plus P e power t whole power n. Q is as usual 1 minus P. Expectation is n times P. Variance is n PQ. So using the definition you can prove the moment generating function. And from moment generating function you can obtain Ex and Ex square. Thereby you can calculate Vx. These proofs are given in the lecture notes. You can see there and do yourself. But for, for problems you directly use this. Let's do some examples on binomial distribution. Suppose a die is tossed five times. What is the probability of getting exactly two fours? Die is tossed five times. What is the probability of getting exactly two fours? What is n here? Five. In this problem clearly n is 5. Probability of success getting a 4 what is the probability 1 by 6. How many successes are needed out of 5? 2. So using these in the binomial distribution formula you can get the required probability. Okay answer is 0.161. Next example, the probability that a certain kind of component will survive a soap test is 3 over 4. What is the probability that exactly 2 of the next 4 components tested survive? What is P here? 3 over 4? 3 over 4. Probability that exactly 2 of the 4 components tested survive n is 4, x is 2. So again use the binomial distribution formula to get the probability. Next example, the probability that a patient recovers from a rare blood disease is 0.4. If 15 people are known to have contracted this disease, what is the probability that at least 10 survive? P is clearly 0.4 n is 15, p is 0.4, n is 15. In the first part, probability is required that at least 10 survive. At least 10 means what? Probability x greater than or equal to 10. It means you have to add probability for x equal to 10, then Probability for x equal to 11 up to 15. You have to add all those probabilities using the binomial distribution formula. Second part, from 3 to 8 survive, that means probability 3 to 8. Probability 3 less than or equal to x less than or equal to 8 means from x equal to 3 to x equal to 8, you need to add all the probabilities using the binomial distribution formula. Exactly 5 survive means probability x equal to 5. So answers are written here. You can verify these yourself. After this, see the next example. A large chain retailer purchases a certain kind of electronic device from a manufacturer. The manufacturer indicates that defective rate of the device is 3%. The inspector randomly picks 20 items from a shipment. What is the probability that there will be at least one defective item among these 20? I think you understand this problem. Here P is 0 0.03, N is 20. What is the required probability? At least one defective item. At least one means 
you need probability x greater than or equal to 1. How will you calculate it? Will you add from x equal to 1 to x equal to 20? Or there is some other way? You can write it because total probability is 1. You can write it probability 1 minus probability of 0. Probability at x equal to 0. Right? This is same as this one. So in this case you need to do only this calculation. So what do you get? You get point four five six two in the answer. Verify it. See the second part. Suppose that the retailer receives ten shipments in a month and the inspector randomly tests 20 devices per shipment, what is the probability that there will be exactly 3 shipments each containing at least one defective device among the 20 that are selected and tested for the shipment? Now this question belongs to the previous part, of course. But it is a different problem. Now it is talking about shipments. There are 10 shipments. Each, from each shipment, the inspector tests 20 devices. And the required probability is that there will be, means what is the required probability? That there will be exactly 3 shipments each containing at least one defective device. So a shipment carrying at least one defective device probability you have already found here. It is 0.4562. Okay, so your P you have already found in the previous part for the second part. Now how many shipments? 10 shipments. Now instead of X to define a new random variable Y that a shipment carries at least y denotes the number of shipments carrying at least one defective item so you need probability for y equal to 3 out of 10 p is already obtained as 0 0.4562 okay so what do we get for y equal to 3, 0 0.1602. So once you read this statement carefully, you understand what is asked. Now it is talking about shipments. And the required probability is that of exactly 3 shipments each containing at least one defective device. So now number of shipments is the variable, the random variable. So that is new in the second part. Next example, in a bombing attack, there is a 50% chance that any bomb will strike the target. At least two direct hits are required to destroy the target. How many minimum number of bombs must be dropped so that the probability of hitting the target at least twice is more than 0.99? What is P here? 50% chance you can say 0 0.5. 0 0.5. What is x that will be defined in this problem? Number of bombs hitting the target. Number of bombs hitting the target. See the required probability. Probability of hitting the target at least twice should be more than point. 99 probability x greater than or equal to 2 should be greater than 
point nine nine. So let n be the total number of bombs dropped. So you need the value of n subject to this condition. See the solution here, px greater than equal to 2 greater than 0.99 that you can write 1 minus probability at x equal to 0 minus probability at x equal to 1 greater than equal to 0.99. These you can write using the binomial distribution okay, and simplify. So this inequality is satisfied, satisfied for n greater than equal to 11. Okay, so do this calculation yourself, but you understand the idea. So according to, to this inequality, at least 11 bombs must be dropped. Okay. Next, Bernoulli distribution. Bernoulli distribution is a special case of binomial distribution. How? In the binomial distribution, if I choose n equal to 1, there is only one trial with two outcomes, success and failure, with probabilities p and 1 minus p, then it is Bernoulli distribution. That's why uh, the trials in binomial distribution are called Bernoulli trials. Okay. So if a single trial is performed, then the distribution obtained is Bernoulli distribution. So these formulas can easily be obtained from binomial distribution. Just use n equal to 1 in all those formulas. Next, multinomial distribution. In binomial distribution, each trial results into two outcomes. What if the trial results into more than two outcomes? Then we have multinomial distribution. See the statement here if a given trial can result in more in any one of the k possible outcomes now k can be of course more than two say over to ok with probabilities p1 p2 and so on up to pk then the multinomial distribution gives the probability that o1 occurs x1 times O2 occurs, x2 times and so on, OK occurs xk times in n independent trials. Okay, so if k is 2, then it reduces to the, reduces to the binomial distribution. So it is a more general distribution, you can verify it with the binomial distribution formula. Okay. Let's see some examples on this. The probability that a person goes to office by car, bus and train are 1 by 2, 1 by 4, 1 by 4 respectively. Find the probability that the person will go to office 2 days by car, 3 days by bus and 1 day by train in 6 days. So how many outcome, how many possible outcomes are there in each trial? Three possible outcomes. So it is the case of multinomial distribution. So how many days? Six. So n is six. What are x1, x2, x3, 2, 3, 1? What are p1, p2, p3, 1 by 2, 1 by 4, 1 by 4? So to get the required probability, use the multinomial distribution formula like this. Okay, see the next example, the complexity of arrivals and departures of planes at an airport is such that computer simulation is often used to model the ideal conditions. For a certain airport with three runways, it is known that in the ideal setting the following are the probabilities that, I, that the individual runways are accessed by randomly arriving commercial jet. So the probabilities of three different runways are given after that. What is the probability that six randomly arriving airplanes are distributed in the following fashion? The runway one will be getting two airplanes, second one airplane and third three airplanes. Again, there are more than two possibilities in each outcome. 
in each trial there are three possibilities or three outcomes so what does it mean it is the case of multinomial distribution with n equal to 6 x1 x2 x3 2 1 3 probabilities are given here p1 p2 p3 so use again the multinomial distribution formula to get the required probability okay so in the next lecture we will discuss further discrete probability distributions but what we have covered in this lecture let's see again we started from geometric distribution so in geometric distribution we have series of independent trials each trial results into two outcomes success and failure with constant probabilities p and 1 minus p or p and q x denotes the number of trials to get first success make a note of this point under these conditions the pmf of the geometric random variable is given by q power x minus 1 into p It is good to remember the moment generality function expectation and variance for geometric distribution for the problems. Next, negative binomial distribution. What are the conditions in this? This time, series of independent trials, but x denotes the number of trials to get the kth success instead of first success. Now, any kth success k could be 1, 2, 3, any number. So it is more general distribution than the geometric distribution. Or you can say geometric distribution is special case of negative binomial distribution when k is 1. So in this case at least k trials are required. That's why this is the, these are the values taken by x and this is the PMF of the negative binomial distribution. After that binomial distribution conditions, n independent trials, each trial results into two outcomes, success and failure with constant probabilities of success, constant probabilities. What is x? Number of successes in the n trials. What is PMF of x? PMF of x. This is NCX q power n minus x into p power x remember this pmf for the problems moment generating function expectation and variance are also useful to remember after binomial distribution Bernoulli distribution. Bernoulli distribution is a special case of binomial distribution when n is 1. So it's easy to remember if you know the binomial distribution. Multinomial. In binomial distribution, each trial results into two outcomes. In multinomial, it could be more than two. Okay. So it is a more general distribution than the binomial. It is its PMF. Okay, so in this lecture you have learned some very useful distributions. Let us meet in the next lecture for the remaining distributions. Thank you.